What's up everybody, this is Russell Tracy and I've got your photo news for June 12th. First up, Canon announced that they've updated the 70-200 f2.8 to version 3 and the 70-200 f4 to version 2. Starting with the 70-200 f4 version 2, most of the updates were with the image stabilization system. The lens now has five stops of stabilization up from the previous lens that had four. It now has three modes of stabilization up from two. And Canon claims that the image stabilization is much quieter now. Canon also decreased the minimum focus distance from 3.9 feet to 3.3 feet. They've added some additional coatings to the lens elements and they've increased the aperture blades to nine which the previous version only had eight. The 7200 f2.8 version three, unfortunately didn't have as many updates. Quite frankly, it didn't have any. Uh, the only notable update, which I don't know how much it's actually gonna affect, is they added an air sphere coating, which is supposed to reduce flare and ghosting. The other big thing that they updated was the paint job. The new 7200 f2.8 is going to be a wider shade of white. The f2.8 version is on pre-order right now for $2,099 with an expected availability of August 2018. The f4 version is also on pre-order for $1,299 with an expected availability of the end of June. In Apple news, with OS X version 10.14, they are going to be removing support for 32-bit applications. Now you might be wondering why this is important. A lot of photography programs are still running 32-bit architecture. The reason I'm bringing this up is there's a lot of photography software that you might not know is 32-bit. A quick look through my computer, there's several applications that are running a 32-bit architecture. The most notable for the sports photographers out there and the journalists is Photo Mechanic is running 32-bit architecture. Uh, Apple made this announcement. Hopefully developers will update to a 64-bit architecture. If you're curious about what applications that you have are running 32-bit, I have a link in the description for Mac Rumors where they show you how to check out which applications are 32-bit architecture. In drone news, the Department of Homeland Security is asking the Senate to pass S-2836, which is named the Preventing Emergency Threats Act of 2018. The law would allow the Department of Homeland Security to detect, identify, monitor, and track unmanned aircraft systems or unmanned aircraft. It would also allow the Department of Homeland Security to disrupt control, seize or exercise control, or confiscate the unmanned aircraft system or unmanned aircraft. Finally, the Department of Homeland Security would also have the authority to use reasonable force to disable, damage, or destroy the unmanned aircraft system or unmanned aircraft. The ACLU wrote a letter to the Senate Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee, which stated, while the potential security threat posed by drones is real and the need to protect certain facilities is legitimate, strong checks and balances to protect property, privacy, and the First Amendment rights are vital. S-2836 lacks such measures. The bill amounts to enormous unchecked grant of authority to the government to forcefully remove drones from the sky in nebulous security circumstances. If you'd like to read the text of S-2836, I'll have the link in the description below. DxO released Nick Collection 2018 last week. Right now it's on sale for $49.99. Eventually it's going to go up to $69. I have a full video on why I purchased the Nick Collection. I'll put a link to that video in the description below if you want to check that out. That's all the photo news I have for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it that thumbs down. If you want to see the last photo news that I did, I'll have the link right over here. If you haven't done so, check out my other videos, hit that subscribe button, and if you want to be notified when I post another video, make sure you hit the bell icon. This is Russell from Russell Tracy Photography. Have a good day.